Welcome to the Katie Sampson Foundation Art Therapy Studio. Here we have four tables that are spread out to allow multiple patients to work in the studio while social distanced. We have lots of artwork from past patients on display in the studio as well as in the art therapy galleries. Patients often choose to leave artwork behind to inspire others. We have lots of different art materials to work with. The materials are paid for by generous grants and donations. On the ceiling, you will see we have lots of painted ceiling tiles. They can be found in the studio here, as well as in patient rooms and in some of the gyms. Here is a mosaic that someone's working on. She experimented by adding glitter into the cement and plans to give this to her grandmother as a Christmas present. On the easels, we have what we call wheelchair art. The patient squirted paint onto the paper and then wheeled his chair through the paint to create tire marks. This piece we're calling Painting with Purell because the person used Purell hand sanitizer instead of water to blend the colors together. She came up with this idea on her own, but we hope to inspire other people to try it. We have different galleries to display patient artwork. The frames are mounted to the walls, but they allow us to switch artwork out frequently so that every patient can display their work for others to see. This is the art therapy cart, which brings art therapy to patient rooms when people can't make it up to the studio. Many years ago, this was the extent of art therapy. Since then, we've had this studio built and we bring as many people up to the sixth floor as we can, but for those who can't make it, art therapy comes to them. You'll see McGee's unofficial slogan, Believe in a Way Back, reflected in the artworks on display. The word believe comes up again and again because it inspires everybody. We have adaptive equipment that we use, such as the mouth stick and a U-cuff, which allows people to make art with their hands as well as sometimes with their mouth. Next time you're in the area, please come to the sixth floor and see the art studio for yourself. You'll be sure to be inspired.